Thank you, Mr. Osundwa. We will continue to keep you updated as that story develops. The United Democratic Alliance UDA party has made fresh appointments ahead of its upcoming grassroots elections in all counties set to begin this month. In a statement issued by UDA Secretary General Cleophas Malala, the National Steering Committee, officiated by President William Ruto on Tuesday, appointed Anthony Moura as chairperson of the National Elections Board and Veronica Kiberenge as vice chairperson. Our correspondent Philip Simiu has the full story. United Democratic Alliance Party has pushed its grassroots elections to later this month. On Tuesday, after President William Ruto chaired a meeting of the National Steering Committee sitting on behalf of the National Executive Committee, it was agreed that the elections will be done in four phases. In a statement by UDA Secretary General Cleophas Malala stated that the National Steering Committee was sitting to deliberate on the upcoming party grassroots elections as well as the constitution of relevant party organs. Kwamba tumekuwa na mkutano wa National Steering Committee na tumekubaliana kama chama kwamba tunaenda kuwa na uchaguzi in four phases vile ametaja hizo county phase 1 itakuwa tarehe 26 mwezi huu Phase 2 itakuwa June, Phase 3 August, na Phase 4 pia August. UDS first phase will take place on April 26, 2024 in seven counties. They include Nairobi, Narok, West Pokot, Busia, Homa Bay, Isiolo, and Garissa. Phase 1, on the 26th of April 2024, the election will be conducted in the following counties. Nairobi County, Narok County, West Pokot County, Busia County, Homa Bay County, Isiolo County, and Garissa County. UDA will hold the second phase of its grassroots elections on June 22nd in 13 counties, namely Mombasa, Wasingishu, Nyandarwa, Tarakanithi, Machakos, Kisi, Bungoma, Siaya, Taita Taveta, Wajia, Tana River, Kuala and Marsabit. Phase 2 of the elections will be conducted on 22nd of June 2024 in the following counties. Mombasa, Uasimgishu, Nyandarwa, Daraka Nidhi, Machakos, Kisi, Bungoma, Siaya, Taita Taveta, Wajia, Tana River, Kuala and Marsabit counties. For the third phase, the elections will be carried out in the following 15 counties on August 10th, Kiambu, Embu, Kericho, Meru, Migori, Kakamega, Nyamira, Kitui, Elgeo Marakwet, Samburu, Kajiado, Mandera, Kilifi, Muranga and Lamu. Phase 3, which will be conducted on the 10th of August, will be in the following counties. Kiambu, Embu, Kericho, Meru, Migori, Kakamega, Nyamira, Kitui, Elgeo Marakwet, Samburu, Kajiado, Mandera, Kilifi, Moranga, and Lamu counties. The last phase will take place on August 24th, 2024 in 12 counties. This include Nakuru, Bomet, Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Nandi, Baringo, Trukana, Laikipia, Transoya, Kisumu, Vihiga and Makueni. Phase 4 will be conducted on the 24th of August in the following counties. Nakuru, Bomet, Nyeri, Kirinyaga, Nandi, Baringo, Trukana, Laikipia, Transoya, Kisumu, Vihiga and Makueni counties. Upon completion of the grassroots elections in all the counties, the UDA will conduct the ensuing county and national elections of the party by December 2024. It was also stated that the elections will be conducted electronically. Malala highlighted that the ruling parties determined to conduct a free and fair grassroots elections in all counties. Vile vile pia tumeweza kuweka kamati zote ambazo lafazi simamie uchaguzi huu, kamati ya national elections board, vile mwenye kiti ya mesema imetungwa na hiyo ndio itaendesha uchaguzi sasa. So kamati hiyo itakaa wiki hii 
ianze kupanga mikakati ya uchaguzi Last September, UD unveiled what its leadership calls a foolproof system that will see members vote electronically in the upcoming party elections. The party's National Governing Council meeting held on September 29, 2023, ruled that the outfit resolved that the elections would be conducted on December 9, 2023, but was later postponed. This would be the party's first ever election since its inception in 2021, yet the most consequential one as President Ruto lays the ground for his 2027 re-election bid. Kwa na membership registration yetu kama chama tuhakikishe kwamba tumepata members wa kutosha the system is designed in such a manner that only registered UDA members will access the system and therefore participate in the elections wale members wa chama ndi watapiga kura peke yao so tungependa kuhimiza watu wajiandikishe kama candidates na pia wajiandikishe kama members portal yetu imefunguka unaweza jisajili kama uh, 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 mgombea ya kiti ama candidates katika uchaguzi ambao unakuja lakini members will also access the registration by dialing star 509 hash which is the registrar of political parties code tungependa pia kusema kwamba tumefungua tena ile mtandao wetu wa kujisajili eh, kama uh, wagombea ya viti katika eneo mbalimbali nchi eh, katika nchi yetu so kama unataka kusimama kiti mahali popote hata zile county ambazo tumetaja tunaanza nazo for prime news mash television i'm philip simio